<coughs> I'd now like to ask David Lepper, a uh, Member of Parliament for Brighton Pavilion and a long-standing friend of Cyprus, to say a few words. Unfortunately, David will be retiring from oh. Parliament uh, at the end of this uh, term. So he will be a side when that happens, but uh, nevertheless, I'm delighted you're here with us. Thank you very much, uh, Peter, and thank you for that, uh, uh, those uh, kind, kind comments. Um, like one or two other speakers who we've heard from this evening, I do not have a large either uh, Greek Cypriot or Turkish Cypriot uh, population living in my constituency. I've got a number of people, but by no means a huge number of people. And for me, the issue of the future of Cyprus, the past of Cyprus, the present of Cyprus and the future of Cyprus is an issue of human rights and of justice, uh, irrespective of any, I have to say, electoral uh, considerations. But there is, of course, an election coming up this year for the European Parliament. And we have heard uh, at various times throughout the evening of the importance of the European Union uh, in the future of, of Cyprus because of Turkey's aspirations and because of, of the quite correct view that I think our government has taken and the government of the Republic of Cyprus has taken that yes, let us have Turkey in the European Union providing it meets the right criteria for membership of the European Union. So I think there is an opportunity for everyone here to make sure that in those European elections that are coming up in, in June, in your constituencies, Cyprus and the future of Cyprus is an issue to put to the candidates to contact the candidates about so that you know what they and their parties are, are saying about the issue and want to see as a solution to the issue. And it truly is, as others also have said, uh, an issue which unites parties here in Westminster, irrespective of which government is in power. And in fact, um, uh, Andy will uh, bear witness to this with me, we have got four parties represented here on, on the platform tonight. We've got the Labour Party, we've got the Conservative Party, we've got the Liberal Democrats, and in the presence of Andy and myself, we've also got the fourth largest party in Parliament, the Cooperative Party. So you've got a four-party <laughs> coalition here working for the future of uh, some. There are more than just the two of us, there's 29 altogether uh, in, in the House of Commons. Um, as Peter has said, I'm retiring at the next general election. When I came into Parliament in 1997, uh, the uh, occupation uh, of Cyprus was 23 uh, years old. And I really thought that uh, the ending of that occupation and the establishment of the Bizonal Bicommunal Federation was something which I would see during whatever time I had in Parliament. I have a very sad feeling in here that whenever the general election is, whether it's this year or as many of us feel is perhaps more likely next year, um, the issue is not going to be solved by then. I look forward to uh, the time when perhaps I might get invited back to an event like this here to celebrate the reunification of Cyprus and the establishment of Cyprus as that united country that we all want, uh, we all want to see. Um, there was a question uh, that, that was asked, what's the essence of, of, of the problem? And well, yes, the essence of the problem is a, is a complex one. Uh, I think about the essence of, of the solution. And I may be very simple-minded about this, but on the one hand, here is a very large country which wishes to join the European Union. At the same time, that large country is occupying a much smaller country which is already a member of the European Union. And, you know, politics can become complicated, diplomacy can become complicated, but how can it be right to say yes to Turkey being a member of the European Union when it is still and shows no signs of moving away from its occupation and bringing settlers in as well to a country to which it has absolutely no right and which is a member yeah. of the European Union. <laughs> and I just think of a couple of contrasting examples uh, of, of, of things. Some of you will have heard me say this before and I, I don't really apologise for it. The uh, year before last I was in Larnaca. I hadn't been to Larnaca for a long time and I hadn't explored Larnaca very much and walking around Larnaca I came across a mosque. And the mosque looked as if it was well used. 
and the mosque was clean and the outside of it was clean, there was no graffiti over it, there was no desecration of any kind. My wife and I were able to go in and look from the door uh, at the mosque and clearly there had been people in there earlier in the day worshipping uh, in there. Later that same year, I went uh, for the first time to the north of Cyprus, to Morfu. And what did I see? Not only an occupied church, but a desecrated Greek Orthodox graveyard with the tombstones knocked over and uh, graffiti everywhere, no sense of the sanctity of the place. What a contrast between the treatment that I'd witnessed as a tourist in Larnaca, in the South, in the Republic, of the religion of a minority group within that community, and what I saw there in Morfu, of the treatment of the, the symbols of the religion of what I suppose was now a minority group in that community. The other example that seems to me to show something uh, very different about ways of thinking about the problem is I read in the news there's a problem with energy in the north of Cyprus. What does the Republic do? Uh, it sends natural gas supplies uh, to the north. Now, it seems to me there is something to be learned from those two issues about the approach uh, to the problem. So, I hope that before too long, uh, the dream that I came into Parliament hoping to see realised of that free and united Cyprus is realised. I don't think it will be, as Peter suggested, in my time uh, in this Parliament. I hope it won't be too long after. I think, yes, uh, the United States and the new administration in the United States, and perhaps especially the role of Hillary Clinton in that administration, is uh, a very important one for the future. But I hope my colleagues here who are going to remain in, in Parliament after the next general election and others who will be coming in for the first time will keep in mind those three things about Cyprus that I always have in the forefront uh, of my mind. 